ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಎನ್ ಜಿ ಓಸ್ ಹಾಗೆ ಇವರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ತಡೆಗಟ್ಟುವ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಾತ್ರ ಹೆಜ್ಜೆಯನ್ನು ಇರಿಸಿದೆ ಅದ್ರ ಒಂದು ಭಾಗ ಆಗಿ ಈಗ ಮಂಗಳೂರಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಯನಪಯ್ಯ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ಅದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಹತ್ರ ಹಂಚಿಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ವಿಶೇಷ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಅವರು ನನ್ನ ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿ ಕುತ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋರು ನಮ್ಮ ಗುರುಗಳು ಹಾಗೂ ಅವರು ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಇನ್ನ ನೆನಪ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ಲಿ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಆಗಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಹಾಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಜಲಾಲುದ್ದೀನ್ ಅಕ್ಬರ್ ಅವರು ವಿಭಾಗ ಮುಖ್ಯಸ್ಥರಾಗಿ ಸರ್ಜಿಕಲ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ನೆನಪ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ನಾನು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ರೋಹನ್ ಶೆಟ್ಟಿ ನಾನು ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಟ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಸರ್ಜಿಕಲ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಕಾಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಕಾರ್ಯನಿರ್ವಹಿಸ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೇನೆ ಇವರು ಅರುಣ್ ಮಾರ್ಕೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಹೆಂಡ್ ಸೊ ಈ ನಿಟ್ಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ಈಗ ಫರ್ದರ್ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ನೀಡಲಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೂ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ನಾನು ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ವಿಜಯ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕಿದ್ವಾಯಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ಲಿ ಮೂವತ್ತೊಂದು ವರ್ಷ ಕಾಲ ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಇನ್ಸ್ಟಿಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಆಗಿ ಇದ್ದು ರಿಟೈರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂಗಳೂರಿಗೆ ಹೋಗಿ ಎನಪಯ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಿ ವೈಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸಲರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಸಮಸ್ಯೆ ಬರಲೇಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಇಚ್ಛಿಸ್ತು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟೀನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಿದೆ ಅದಾದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಗೆ ಏನೇನು ಬೇಕಾಗಿದ್ದೋ ಆ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ನ ರೆಡಿ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಕೈಲಿ ಬರೋದು ತುಂಬ ಕಷ್ಟ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಹಣ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿ ದಿ ಆಪರೇಷನಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಚರ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಟ್ ಫುಲ್ಲಿ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ಇಟ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸಿಮಮ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಫಾರ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ದೇ ಹವ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಗಿವನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅವರ್ ದಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ವ್ಯಾರಂಟಿ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ರಾಕ್ಸಿಮೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಏಟ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಈ ದ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಸಿ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರುಪೀ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರುಪೀಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ವಿಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಇಯರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ರೋಸ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಮೈಂಟೆನೆನ್ಸ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಮೆಷಿನರಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಕಾ ದಿ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರನ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಆನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬೋತ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ನಾನ್ ಟೀಚಿಂಗ್ ಬೋತ್ ದಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾರಾ ಪ್ಯಾರಾಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಪೇಯ್ಡ್ ಸ್ಯಾಲ್ರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಅವರ್ 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 ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಮೀನಿಂಗ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ದೇ ಪ್ರಣ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸೆಡ್ ದ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಟು ಐ ಡಿಡಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಐ ಡಿಡಂಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಯು ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಸೆಡ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಲಾಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಮನಿ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಯಾಲರಿ ಸೊ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆರ್ ದೇರ್
and we have, they have to be supported with the nursing staff, technical staff, and other uh, support staff like reception, etc. This is the number we are looking at, and it will be a model hospital. You can, uh, I'll be very happy if you can come and see how it functions. No, I just wanted the number. Twenty-five people. Twenty-five people. Twenty-five is the number of the teaching staff, that is doctor staff. Supporting staff will be other twenty-five, fifty. To add to that, it is a, this running cost is an ongoing thing. So we are now at the beginning point of uh, uh, a huge setup that has been given. So as our number of patients are going, will increase because people will come forward to take the uh, treatment because it is ver made very, very affordable uh, because the infrastructure has come uh, from Tata and it will grow and uh, probably a year from now it may double the uh, people, we may have to double the people. So we don't know how it will go. And not only that, the uh, cancer is on the rise. So we are seeing every year the number of patients are actually going up. Even though the number of cancer specialists are increasing, it is going up. And uh, I was one of the first cancer surgeon in uh, Mangalore in 2001 and uh, only person, but still my work now, we, there are now 10, but my work has only gone up and up. It has not come down. So cancer is on the rise and we need more such institutions to come up. And uh, standard of care has to go up. With such infrastructure, what has been provided, which is very difficult for uh, uh, a private setup they put, then only the corporates will put, where the money is so huge, only this sort of, uh, like people like Tata Trust coming forward and giving infrastructure. Doctors are willing to work, but uh, the infrastructure is always the cost. Suppose, uh, suppose in the future uh, the demand increases more and more number. Uh, can we see, you know, now one lakh we are paying, can we see reduction of uh, the cost of uh, operation? Uh, in a lighter tone, I have to say this. Don't mistake me, but in a, not in a serious mode. We can't predict future. Is it not? We can't predict future. I, my wish is that even that one lakh should be reduced to zero. That's my dream. By creating a fund, which I have done it in Kidwai, I'll, I'll do that there also. That's my aim. To make patients pay nothing and walk out, whether he is paying, able to pay or not is his headache. But I have to give the appropriate treatment and appropriately you have to treat him. Money should not be an issue at all. So that is my aim. That is my personal aim and a goal. Whether I'll be able to achieve that in future or not, only the time has to tell. For a doctor, when a patient walks in, uh, the least concern is uh, he should not be thinking about the money that the patient has to spend. He should be able to do what is uh, possible. And uh, Anupaya, uh, 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 university along with the Tata Trust has given us uh, cancer specialist uh, uh, a dream place to think like that. You would raise the funds uh, from the open market uh, or the banks. Uh, how is what is the plan? I don't know what you are trying to ask me. This is not a co commercial venture at all. Where is the question of uh, open market coming? We are doing going to run it free of cost. I'm telling how to make it run free of cost. The institution will support me and if there is not possible like Tata Trust there are philanthropies available who will support me. The idea here is to make it easily accessible and affordable. That's the aim. There are many ways of doing it. Definitely not the banks or the private people coming into the picture. If they come I have to pay back the EMI. That's not the way. I am looking at creating the funds from friends like you. Even if you pay 10 rupees that's fine for me. That is how I am looking at it. And in a, I am talking in a long term. In a short term, the Aishman Bharat Arugya Karnataka scheme is there. I don't know how well you know this. The AB ARC is the scheme which is being supported by both central government and state government. And our, our institute comes under that. Through that, we will be able to definitely give free treatment to such group. The, the point the gentleman asked was, if they don't come under that, what to do? That is what you and I are now talking. If the pay person is not able to pay, but they don't come under that, they come under some other place. For example, there are quite a few patients who come from Northeast. 
they don't their cards will not be useful in karnataka so such patients how they are going to be treated for that only i said create a separate funding from that we will have to manage sir you told a lot about the after cancer treatment you are looking for and you only told that the whatever the cancer cases are on the rise okay what what about the prevention sir what about the prevention in the prevention techniques in your institute good question that is i told as a passing by for well, last 6 years i joined there in 19, 2015 from that date go i am using the facilities of their infrastructure as well as the human resources for prevention and early detection first part what i did was we created a team called cancer awareness outreach program team which i educated them i trained them for 6 months then we all started with the specialist help we started going to the rural public and through the nss program national service scheme program we through this we covered three districts dakshina kannada udupi district and kodagu district we covered that by creating a cancer awareness first thing we did was cancer awareness then the second thing what did it was to train the anganwadi and asha workers thanks to the uh, district administration of uh, udupi they helped us to create not only awareness but the training to the asha and anganwadi workers in early detection and screening of cancers the third thing what happened was that seeing us doing this the department of youth and sports government of karnataka helped us supported us to reach the tribal population in sulia district and they are funding us to do the same thing in that particular area for the tribal population the last but not the least is seeing all this happening rotary international and rotary club of mangalore helped us by giving a, a big bus which has got everything inside including mammography colonoscopy sorry colposcopy and all other uh, uh, the instrumentations requ- uh, required for doing the screening and early detection which we are now taking to the rural they need not come to us we go to them and continue to do this regular regular way with the help of all these people we are able to do that so first we started creating awareness now we are started doing screening and early detection and that too we go to their doorstep and do it this is what we are doing for the last 6 years to add to that this is work there is also a lot of research work going on in the university so in this research work we are now actually trying to find by just taking about 5 ml blood from a person whether he is at risk higher risk or whether he has got cancer this is a research that we are now running in the university if we are successful then the screening programs will become so much easy is all that people have to go just collect blood and come back and find out the risk of the cancer of these patients and then probably only target those patients who have risk so this is the university's uh, research activity so we are not just into treatment of cancer we are also deep into research activity in the university so so pediatric oncology so called childhood tumors are uh, very very less in number thankfully but it can affect and that is a disastrous thing for the whole family because the child is less than 1 year to 3 years 4 years 5 years and the commonest cancer we get in the childhood is blood cancer we call it a cll chronic lymphatic leukemia cll it's called as but the only thing is most of the childhood tumors are curable that's the most important point you have to note most of the childhood tumors if detected early are curable and that's why we concentrate on the childhood tumors and we can effectively treat them and multidisciplinary treatment is the way to go about it and effective treatment is is it available answer is yes is it made affordable answer is yes we are able to do that effectively and we also have the facility for the childhood tumors to be treated, taken care of comfortably and we are also thinking of uh, creating a facility for the family to stay there because the childhood tumor takes a little longer time and the family at risk the problem here is they have to come leave their place of work and come back 
and they stay they have to stay for months together and that facility also we have created this autologous bone marrow transplantation is going on right now so allogeneic transplantation is uh, going to start soon the the cost that is what somebody was asking about the cost and these are the two areas where the cost incurred is too much because a uh, particularly like in when you the bone marrow transplantation the post transplantations like the patients can go for sepsis such things like you'll be using lot of antibiotics and lot of uh, things which actually incurs the actual cost the same thing about the bone tumors when you are limb salvage surgery irrespective of what it is like that prosthesis has a cost and it will not be whether it uh, uh, whichever the institute they will not cut down the cost for that prosthesis so the actual cost of that will be around say 1 lakh so here like we are it's approximately between 75000 to 1.25 lakhs is the prosthesis cost what we see earlier we used to amputate today we are going to remove the bone with the bone tumor and we are going to use the prosthesis so that the particular patient he can walk it depends on what stage patient has come to us and if there is no vessel involvement all these things but uh, this is science but otherwise that particular money somebody has to pay in kidwai he could create a such a fund for which even that prosthesis was many a times sponsored where patients who cannot afford anything but many of the patients in our side like when they say the surgery is made free but the prosthesis cost somebody has to be somebody has to bear it so that is why the patients are buying only the prosthesis but in fact in other hospitals in bangalore like i say or the many mumbai anywhere big hospitals where the limb salvage surgeries are done basically the cost of the total treatment is around say 10 to 15 lakhs that is being made almost like no cost or with minimal cost what they are paying is for the prosthesis the surgery if they are in the general ward that is made almost free of cost like in any of the things at this point because you are all anxious to know unlike other group i am happy that you are asking so many questions i am happy to answer you also even in that angle we have used you uh, your uh, we have thought of and we have started what is called as innovation center in our place is one of the very very few centers recognized by government of india what is that innovation center does it do the 3d printing of these prosthesis etc so that the 1.5 lakhs worth prosthesis we are able to make it at 30000 rupees same quality same titanium because in house we are doing it with our own technology it will be only 1/5 of the cost 1.5 lakhs prosthesis will come to 30000 rupees only so that is one another direction we are seeing so make it as much as possible the most efficient and most effective treatment as affordable as possible that's the aim of the whole thing to add to what sir said i will tell with one example this bone marrow uh, bone tumors are something that happens between in pediatric or 16 15 or 14 year old boys or girls and when they are answered to that they have to lose a, their leg it's very devastating but we have now in our institute are capable we have done many limb salvage procedures as rohan said the cost of the process is sometimes if the patient cannot afford we somehow get some ngos and somebody to donate and do it so for all bpl patient it is free of cost if they can't afford the processes we try and organize the processes but for patients who are coming with uh, ability to pay also the cost of this procedure is much less than what happens in outside it's just uh, a lack of rupees for the processes probably another 50 or 60000 rupees for the procedure so this is what is the cost that is what we are giving and in fact our institute can boast that we did uh, on a 4 year old boy it is the first case to be done in india where all institutes refused and told amputation we went ahead and did the limb salvage procedure and to design that prosthesis it was very difficult because it's a growing bone we need to use an expandable prosthesis there is a company in germany known as muters which is capable of designing that so when we contacted them the prosthesis cost was 35 lakhs then i had talked with sir. sir sir had a friend in chennai who does these processes and we both sat together designed how to uh, do these processes and sent to him he manufactured the processes and sent us back and it costed only 1 lakh 40000 
So this is how we are able to help people to actually make it affordable from 35 lakhs to 1.4 lakhs was the prosthesis cost and his surgical cost didn't even exceed 1 lakh. In Kilidri? How do you concentrate on the Muru Zilla? That is Kodagu, Dakshina Kannada, and Udupi. I can read that. 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 I can program coordinator, that is 4,000 people, we are training them. All, this, is, this is for whole Karnataka. In Madhata Adivendra now, 4,000 people get trained Madi, our Gathilwil Kilna Hilkotu, our NSS program uh, volunteers we are reaching the public. So we, with a single uh, unit, we cannot reach whole Karnataka. So we are using them as our missionary, that is NSS. All over Karnataka, all 40 universities, we are doing this. We are going to complete the project in six months. We almost completed training all these people. That is one thing for the whole Karnataka we are doing. Hello, sir. I treatment in the treatment. I am talking about the treatment in the Vijay Karnataka. I am talking about the treatment in the chemotherapy. I am talking about the treatment in the chemotherapy. I am talking about the treatment in the chemotherapy. I am talking about the treatment in the treatment in the treatment in the treatment in the treatment. The, to straight answer, yes. We are not going to be worried about systems and the rules and regulations and norms which many of the hospitals are expected. Namatra full treatment to beko, ye to is it to beko, nam esro alag bardo atarala hiltare. But now nanu particularly nam jadal era urla, adala noda kogo the land. If patient tag bandra or gain treatment kodu beko, the kodu. So in the sense, are that treatment elio muksi li bandi dara sar ana ila sar bartare. We take them, we treat them. Our job is to do the best when they come. Whether they are treated or not treated, at whatever point they come, do our best to them. You can either Karnataka, you can now call our like a Karidro, working out at Madakredi, the Chikbalak Burla Karidro, now work to be. So, Mandia Lavogri. Care pergi ke bawah dewi, alilah, awal nama kita kari tera, alih bawahi mardi dewi. Ni awal Karnataka yang mardi dewi niltir, lah tu. Adre sistematik kan an mardi tu, more district, that is the Kodagu, Dakshin Karna and Udupi. Mikir district lella, Mandya district for example, Mysore Mandya lella, awal minister awal kari dulu, awal youth youth sportsman minister awal, so awal kari dulu, bawahi mardi dewi. Iga recent lagi, iga inna do Hasan lella, nama kita kari tera, so bawahi mardi dewi. That is the request for us. The systematic organized A, B, C and correct is the three districts. The three districts are spread out. The three districts are completed. The next car is the same. The next car is the same. The hospital 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 is the same. Aur ini dengan nama kita refer mati tera, aus mati. Dua hospital na awi nu yara teran na awo gila. Sana sana hospital ini cancer treatment dia lah net koli. Aur nama ke collaborate mati teran kel tera, na collaborate mati tibi, aur refer mado treatment patient na treatment mati. So do you have a provision for blood banks for leukemia patients? Is there a or is there future plans? Number one, blood bank is one of the best blood banks available within the campus right now. What we call it is component, component therapy. That is RBCs, matra kudodu, platelet matra kudodu, plasma kudodu. That is already existing. That is not going to happen. This is what we call it. The moment we start more aggressively bone marrow transplant, which is going on and leukemia is going on, we may have to expand to that level where we will be able to store much more than what we are capable. But we are now capable of storing and uh, component therapy. Everything is going on. One of the best labs, blood bank labs we have got. But how to expand and then now not therapy.
you are welcome no no you are welcome the moment you say yes you will see that you come there he is going to we are we are expecting you to come and see us see seeing is believing nan yen bekana maatadabodu nan maatadadu exaggeration nimage anisabodu illa nan thumba humble a maatadtene ante heli underplay maadabodu but neevu bandu nodidre da you will know what exactly is happening it is a open invitation for everybody good that you asked the moment the invitation is there you want any further uh, arrangements i will request to what mr arun nath be in touch with him we will do it is there invitation is there for everybody if you are not uh, i mean if you are not able to come this time at any point of time like when you happen to come there mangalore bandaga you can always visit you are always welcome he is ready to come this time only we will arrange no problem ಸಿ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಹೋಗೋದ ಮೇಲೆ ಟ್ರೀಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕೊಟ್ಟು ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡೋದಂತ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಇನ್ಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಹೇಳ್ಬೋದು ಆದರೆ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಕೆನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅ ರೂಲ್ ನಾವು ಹೇಳೋದು ಯಾಕಂದರೆ ಹೇಳೋದು ಏನೆಂದರೆ ತಿರುಗ ತಿರುಗ ನಾವು ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಯಾತಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಎರ್ಲಿ ಡೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಯಾತಕ್ಕೆ ಮಾಡಿ ನೀವು ಬೇಗನೆ ಬಂದರೆ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಗುಣ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಬೋದು ನೀವು ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಬಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಎಷ್ಟು ಹಣ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ರೂ ಆಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಇನ್ ಇನ್ ಜನ್ರಲ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಒನ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಕಿಲ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಬೋನ್ಗೆ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ಬಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಡ್ ಆದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಾವು ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಫ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಜನ್ರಲ್ ತಮ್ಮ ರೂಲ್ ಏನಪ್ಪ ಅಂದರೆ ನೀವು ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಒನ್ಲೆ ಬನ್ನಿ ಕ್ಯೂರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ರೈಟ್ ಅದುದಾಗ ನೀವು ಅವ್ರಿಗೆ ಹೇಳಬೇಕು ಲೇಟಾಗಿ ಬಂದರೆ ಮಾಡ್ತೀನಿ ಹೇಳಿದರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಹಣ ಅವರೆಯ ಸಮಯ ಅವರೆಯ ಎಲ್ಲ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಬೇಗ ಬಂದರೆ ನಾವು ಪೂರ್ಣವಾಗಿ ಅದನ್ನು ಗುಣಪಡಿಸ್ಲಾಗ ಮೇಕ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ In fact, that was the story I wrote a big detailed project for establishing cancer center in all government medical colleges in Karnataka, which was approved by government, sent it to the central government, central government approved. That was the general election. I didn't change the value, I didn't change the value, I didn't change the project value, I didn't change the value. But I took it as a challenge, I went there and made it happen and that is what it is. We are able to make it, that is the point. How we are making it, come and see us. how we are making it making it available it is possible the only thing is you must have the will to do so some amount of infrastructure is required some amount of money is required without money we can't do all this i should be thankful to the management mr abdullah kuni who is the, my chancellor who gave me a free hand to do all this that i have to tell that's called as institute social responsibility we have to give the social society back something what we have learned and that is what we are doing the institute is taking some amount of money sorry some amount of expenditure in their kitty and making it happen they take the pride of giving the joy of giving is then one which we all enjoy there it's not just money if your money is there i should not have gone out of bangalore at all <laughs>